What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uniform review video. All right, so we have She-Hulk's new uniform here. I'm a little bit late to getting around to uh, taking a look at this, but here we have her um, uniform from the TV series. So we have Marvel Studios She-Hulk Attorney at Law. So here we go. Looks, I don't know, it doesn't look too much different than her other looks here. Just a little bit different on the, the face and the hair. So yeah, the uniform, let's see, it's going to be changing all of her passives, her leadership, well actually, it just makes it the same leadership, it's just saying that it's changed from her base form there, not from her previous uniform. Um, she's got increase all attack by 40%, guard break immunity, uh, increased damage dealt to boss types by only 10%, so that's kind of interesting, that only applies to self. Mm -hmm. I don't know, 10% seems a little bit low, so let's see what the skill changes we have here are. All right, so everything changes. Her tier two passive, super armor, all defense by 40%, increased skill damage 35 and bonus damage by 30, decreased basic damage received by 30%. Okay, I think that's similar to what she had before. Her passive is increased chain hit damage by 10% and ignore dodge by 30%. I do love me some ignore dodge built into the uniforms, so definitely welcome with that. Uh, again, 10% chain hit damage is, seems really low. Only 10% here, 10% there against boss types. Doesn't seem like they're really giving her much damage. Um, and then her leadership is the same. Uh, applies to all allies, increased damage dealt to male types by 65%. Um, nothing on the first skill, nothing on the second skill. Third skill, we've got a 25% heal. Okay. Fourth skill, we've got increased damage, or yeah, increase all attack by 50%. We've got damage immunity for nine seconds. It's actually quite long, nine seconds. Huh. That's usually what you would see on like an awakening skill or a tier three where you get like over nine to, you know, nine, 10, 11 seconds of uh, immunity or invincibility. So that's really good. And then the fifth skill, um, all defense down by 50%. We have all attack, all defense by 45%, 10% speed, and 20% crit rate. Hmm. So she has no accumulation, so that's going to hurt her damage. Because she doesn't have it on her tier 3 either, because she does have a tier 3 with this uniform. Her tier 3 is really basic, it's just got uh, pierce to like penetrate, super armor barrier, damage immunity, and then it's got 11 seconds of invincibility. And I believe just an all attack increase or a damage for one attack increase. I can't remember what it was. So I'm pretty underwhelmed by her skills here. At least, you know, the skill description. She doesn't really have a lot going on. Huh. I don't know. It seems like they were just didn't want to make her good. I don't know. Uh, let's see what the skills look like. Okay, I think that skill hasn't changed. That looks the same to me. So that one's changed. So she has an iframe for that. She goes out of the iframe. I do like the little punch at the end though, but uh, she's out of the iframe for that. Hmm. All right, third skill. Got kind of a vortex going on and then she throws some stuff. She only goes into an iframe once she does the jump. Uh, fourth skill. All right, pulls up some rubble, does her classic little spinneroo there, okay. And then the fifth skill, taunts the enemies. Oh, no, she's calling in Hulk. Okay, so there's Hulk. Huh, I don't know. Um, so what buffs did we have on the third skill, if anything? That's our heal. Okay. So we don't really need to use the third skill. And the combination, I mean, we get the extra damage because we have that tornado, so probably... Yeah, so it takes her a minute to call in Hulk, so I think we could do like 5, 3, 4. So let's do 5, 3, and 4. We don't have... No, we don't have the Vortex from third skill, so we have to wait a minute. Okay, yeah, so we have to wait for her to pull up the ground in the third skill. So that's probably going to mess up a damage proc if you're trying to use her with a damage proc because we go ooh, right there we get like quite a few hits because it hits uh well that hit all the enemies but there's just one enemy of course it's going to be uh, a little bit less whoops i did that in the wrong wrong order there um 
I don't know how I feel about her. She doesn't... I mean, she seems okay, but she just doesn't have any accumulation. <laughs> she pulls out the book and starts uh, starts uh, prosecuting them. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. She doesn't... She seems a little underwhelming to me. I mean, it looks like she should do... Like, we have a lot of hits going on here. Uh, you can combine a couple skills together. So she should do a lot of damage. It's just she's not getting a lot of buffs from her skills. She's got one skill with the all attack. The other one gives her the damage immunity. Yeah, so we have the all attack there with damage immunity. Actually, no. Did she have all attack on this one too? Okay, she did. So she does have two all attack increase, but... I mean, no accumulation is kind of disappointing because nowadays it seems like every character that they release or rework should have some sort of accumulation. I mean, it just seems like kind of like a standard now. Like if you're upgrading the character to tier three or giving them a transcendence, they should have some form of accumulation in their kit to kind of deal with some War Boss Legend stages. Because she doesn't have like ignore iframe, so it doesn't seem like they want you to use her in uh, PvP because that would maybe give her, you know, give them a reason to not give her accumulation because you don't necessarily need it for PvP. But she doesn't have any of that, so she doesn't seem like a PvP character. I mean, she's still got a really good leadership, so of course, getting her to tier three, you could take advantage of that leadership, um, you know, just use her for that, which is, might be what I use her for because. Again, I'm not super impressed with her uniform here. She has the heal, you can combine the skills. It looks like there's a lot of potential for damage here. I just don't think they gave her skills enough effects to really uh, show that potential though. So yeah, that's just kind of my initial impressions on her. Um, I'm not gonna be picking up the uniform right now. Uh, I am gonna wait till Black Friday, I think, before I buy any uniforms from basically from now to Black Friday. So anything that releases in between now and Black Friday, I'm probably just gonna skip and wait till Black Friday, unless it's just a character that I really want and I just want to, you know, play them right when they're released. But for She-Hulk here, I am going to wait till Black Friday uh, to kind of make up my mind here. I'll probably see what, um, you know, a few other people think of her at tier three, if she's actually really good or not. But again, I'm thinking I'm just going to be using her as a leadership. That's probably going to be her main use. I don't really see her being like, you know, one of the top tier combat characters just because she doesn't have enough going on with her skills. Her skills are just too basic. Yeah, so anyway, those that, that's my initial thoughts on She-Hulk here. Again, feel free to leave it in the comments below if you've already purchased the uniform, if you have more experience with her. Let me know if she is actually uh, like a really strong DPS or if she does seem like just a leadership character. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and of course I will catch you in the next one.